Hey, what is up, Frag fam? Corbin here again from Northwest Scent. So today I am really excited to be bringing you guys another first impressions video. These are fragrances that, at least for a couple of these, I've been wanting to try for a long time and I have not been able to up until now. I do have some decants here. We will talk more about that after the intro, so let's roll it. Alright guys, welcome back from the intro, and like I already said, we're going to be doing some live first impressions here on camera of some awesome fragrances that I've been meaning to try for a long time. And like I already mentioned earlier, these are not blind buy first impressions that from a full bottle. These are actually first impressions coming from Decant, which is definitely the smarter way to shop. And I have to thank Decant X for sponsoring this video and sending me these fragrances to try. So if you guys are unaware of Decant X, they're an awesome decanting service. They offer both niche designer fragrances, some in fragrances as well and discontinued fragrances even so they have a very wide range and catalog of fragrances at a very competitive price as well I do have a discount code which is NWS 17 if you guys are interested that'll get you 17% off with no commission to me whatsoever that's just to give you guys some savings you can definitely utilize that especially for what we're gonna be talking about here today which is actually their new boxes which are really nice looking and they actually open like this so they have a magnetic kind of seal right here and let me show you what comes inside so you get five premium atomizers and they're all five milliliters they are labeled on the inside if you pull out the little vial it'll tell you what the fragrance is you get about a 10 percent savings if you go for these boxes rather than buying each of the fragrances like separately or you can utilize the 17 percent off coupon which again that'll give you 17 percent off rather than 10 percent you cannot stack both of the coupons but you do get a little bit more savings again with my coupon again with no commission to me that's just to give you guys some savings so again i have to thank decant x for sending me these fragrances and sponsoring this video and finally with all that out of the way let's dive into the video with the first fragrance I'm gonna be trying okay so starting the video off with the first fragrance we're gonna be going with Amouage Memoir Man which comes again here is the premium atomizer this one is blue and then you can see it's a lipstick atomizer you just twist it and then if you take it out you can actually see the label right here where it says Memoir Man so five milliliters of juice a really nice atomizer I've used these before they work really well and they're perfect for traveling if you guys want to avoid leakage and whatnot so I'm really excited to try this fragrance as far as the note breakdown goes it has wormwood mint and basil in your top notes incense lavender and rose for the mid notes and there's a decent amount of base notes there's tobacco leather sandalwood gayak wood vetiver oak moss amber vanilla and then musk really intriguing fragrance I have tried quite a few of the Amouage fragrances at this point I own quite a few as well this is one that has eluded me up until this point I've never tried it I am really excited to try this one so let's dive into the first impressions okay so yeah there is definitely a overall kind of green feel to this fragrance I'm definitely getting that I would say the wormwood and then kind of the gayak wood as well even though the gayak wood is in the base it's kind of coming to the front here a little bit Gaik wood generally brings kind of either a leathery feel or kind of a creaminess as well, similar to sandalwood and even maybe a little bit of kind of that dry woody aspect that almost comes across like pencil shavings. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Like I said, there's more than just a woodiness to this. There's definitely a green feel as well, which I believe would be coming from the basil and then the mint. It's not overly cooling like, you know, mint comes across sometimes, but it's kind of presenting itself vaguely as mint. Of course, it's working with that basil as well. There is, like I said, incense here in the mid notes and I can kind of pick that out in a way there is a little bit of kind of this like fruity smokiness if that makes sense sometimes actually incense does kind of have a little bit of a fruitiness to it and even a sweetness which is really intriguing and then there is kind of like a burning tobacco feel as well it's not super smoky and I think it's maybe just the tobacco working with that incense but I'm kind of getting almost like that kind of lit tobacco, not like a lit cigarette where it's like off-putting, but you know, it's that kind of cherry tobacco that's maybe burning a little bit, giving you kind of like a cigar smell in a way. It's working really nicely here. And there is actually a prominent sweetness as well. The only note that I see that could really be coming through as sweet would probably be that vanilla and then the amber of course again in the base notes but traditionally sometimes the base notes do present themselves early on as well it does smell really nice and while there is a familiarity here it doesn't smell exactly like something that i've smelled before which is really nice and kind of what you would expect for an expensive fragrance such as this one overall yeah it's green there is kind of a aromatic kind of woody nature to this it is smoky fruity i'm getting that tobacco as well and a nice supportive sweetness in the base. I'll be honest, I'm not getting much of the vetiver and the oak moss. It's not coming across too like old school smelling or grassy or anything like that. 
It's just really nice smelling. Very pleasant overall. I think the smell is put together for the gentleman. I think it does smell decently versatile while smelling very unique at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on to the next fragrance, which is coming from this kind of like copper, almost tan looking uh, travel atomizer. And this one is, let's show you guys right here. This is the Tragedy of Lord George. Now, this is one of the fragrances that I've been meaning to try for a long time. I believe this was in my top five fragrances wish list for 2021 video. And if not, it was really close. Again, this is one that I've been wanting to try ever since like last year. It's been going on a year at this point. This is supposed to be an aromatic fougere or barbershop fragrance, despite the note breakdown, which is pretty simple. You have woody notes, brandy, tonka bean and then amber so if you're looking at the note breakdown it doesn't necessarily show itself as being a fougere you don't have lavender listed you don't have geranium you don't have uh, like other herbs like basil or mint stuff like that you don't have oak moss traditionally you see a lot of that in a fougere but people say time and time again that this smells like a creamy aromatic fougere fragrance so i am really excited to try this one let's not hold off any longer and let's actually smell it okay so yeah immediately i can definitely see what people are talking about there is definitely a creaminess to it. Almost like what you would kind of get with like lavender mixing with some like herbs. You know, you kind of get like this creamy feel. Sometimes it comes across like shaving foam in aromatic fougeres. Great ones that come to mind would be At the Barbers by Mason Martin Margiela or things like Reef Gosh Pour Homme from Yves Saint Laurent or even Malakios from Bulgari in the Le Gem line. You know, those all come across very creamy. I'm kind of getting that aspect here. There's also almost an equally like dominant powdery nature to this fragrance in a way. I don't want to necessarily say like baby powder, but it's almost something that kind of hints at that. It could be coming from the tonka beans here listed, which of course tonka beans usually bring a sweet quality, almost like an edible gourmand style, but also quite powdery at the same time. I'm definitely getting that here. Then there is definitely a sweetness as well. This is not even close to being like tooth rottingly sweet. That's not what I'm saying. This is not an overly sweet fragrance but it's not super dry at the same time. There is a nice bit of sweetness in this fragrance, which works really well with kind of these more, I guess you could say like harsher, drier, more masculine notes. There is definitely a woody nature to this as well. It's not presenting itself to me necessarily as like cedar or like rosewood or any other kind of specific woody note. You know, it's just kind of gives me this vague woodiness in a way. I'll be honest, I'm not getting much booziness here, if at all. They could have removed brandy from the note breakdown and I would totally believe it. There's nothing really overly boozy with this fragrance. Again, it is surprisingly kind of creamy, woody, sweet, powdery. It's a really kind of elusive fragrance at the same time. I feel like there's a lot going on here. I feel like the note breakdown, like the actual note breakdown is a lot more complex than the one that they show us. But a lot of these notes kind of are eluding me, you know, it's blended really well. That's what I can get from this because it's really hard for me to pick out a ton of these notes, but it does smell very complex and it smells like it has a lot of depth at the same time. One thing I can say for certain is this does smell really, really nice. Not like anything else that I have in my collection, which I was a little bit worried that there would be a lot of similarities with this one to some other fragrances because I own close to 20 barbershop fragrances. Actually, I own more than 20 barbershop fragrances. And I was worried that maybe this would have some overlap with something else and not be very standout. To me, this actually does smell very unique. Again, I cannot think of anything else in my collection that smells like this. Really awesome, really unique fougere. Yes, powdery, sweet, creamy woody and there is kind of an aromatic touch to this as well so i'm really glad that i was actually able to try this one now i'm really going to hunt for a bottle because i know i'm going to need this stuff in my collection it smells awesome and fantastic okay so we're finally going to be moving on to the last fragrance that i'm going to be trying here on camera today this one again it's coming in the same style of atomizer that we just talked about it's kind of that tan kind of gunmetal looking atomizer this is actually another aromatic fougere funnily enough this is coming from ds and durga and this is Burning Barbershop, which this is a fragrance, I'll be honest, that I haven't really been like meaning to try necessarily, unlike the previous two, Memoir Man and then The Tragedy of Lord George. Those are ones that have been on my radar for a while and ones that I have been meaning to try. This is one that I just saw on Decant X's like fragrance catalog and I thought, why not? Barbershop is in the name. It's going to be an aromatic fougere most likely or a barbershop fragrance and I love those so let's check it out. I don't really know what to expect as far as the note breakdown goes. It has lavender, mint, vanilla, and lime as the notes. So you might think that there's going to be some kind of like smokiness to this. Maybe it's even going to smell warm almost like fire, you know, burning barbershop. But from the note breakdown there's nothing really like that that would reflect those kind of aspects. So I'm not really sure what to expect from this fragrance but we'll have to check it out. So let's go ahead and spray it. Okay, yeah, there's definitely like a burning, smoky nature to this. So the name is very, very fitting. And that's definitely what's at the forefront. So the first thing that hit me is like this smoky kind of, not really incense style of smoke, 
more like what you see maybe with like Cade oil, which they used to use in the original batches of Aventus, also known as Birch Tar. Brings a very realistic, smoky nature. And there's almost like a charcoal briquette that's burning kind of smell going on here as well. Really nice, almost like a savory aspect to this mixing with the smoke, almost like you're grilling kind of like cured meats or something like that, you know? There's a, just a very unique smell to this, but it's not off-putting whatsoever. I know that's kind of a weird descriptor, but it does smell really nice, and there is definitely an aromatic nature to this as well. Almost like a cypress note, kind of this like astringent, almost fresh cut wood kind of smell at the same time. And I think some of that kind of sharpness, that astringent nature is actually coming from the lime that they mentioned here in the notes. It's not really coming across zesty or fruity, making it's not making this vibrant whatsoever. But it's, again, it's just bringing kind of this like sharp nature to it. Working with these really dark notes, the smokiness, you know, the woodiness, there is that lavender, of course, which isn't really dark. But again, it's helping offset this very heavy nature that this fragrance has. There's a little bit of kind of a sweet creaminess, I guess that could be coming from the vanilla, but it's not definitely, it's definitely not like a main stage player here. It is playing second fiddle to these darker notes, these heavier notes. I'm really surprised by the note breakdown. I am 100% positive that the note breakdown is not fully revealing what is in this fragrance because the smokiness is unreal. It is in the forefront, it's in your face. I don't know where that could be coming from, from the four listed notes. So there has to be more notes to this actual fragrance. That's about all that I can think of as far as summing up this fragrance. Again, smoky, savory. There is kind of a woody, almost astringent vibe to this fragrance as well. And a nice aromatic lavender. I'm really not getting much of the mint that they listed. And again, there is a little bit of this kind of creamy sweetness coming from the vanilla as well. This is a very, very unique Fougere fragrance. I have not smelled anything like this. And while it is unique, and maybe even it sounds like it's a little bit bold, which I do think this does smell a little bit bold, I do find it quite appealing at the same time. I would definitely be confident wearing this fragrance as well. So this stuff smells absolutely fantastic. I was really glad that I chose this fragrance to try because maybe I will eventually pick up a full bottle. As again, this stuff smells so unique, so pleasant at the same time, and very, very standout. Well, there you guys go. That was some first impressions of some fragrances that are new to me, again, coming from Decant X. And again, if you guys are interested in checking them out, I will have them linked down below like always and use the code NWS17, which is down with the link if you guys wanna save 17% on your order. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys did, I would really appreciate dropping a like just to show your support. And then that way more people can see my videos on YouTube. Additionally, if you wanna write a comment, maybe just let me know your thoughts as well as some new video ideas or topics, that would be great too. And since you're down there doing all that stuff, if you've not already, if you could hit the subscribe button and then the bell notification, that would be amazing. That way you stay up to date on new videos whenever they get released going forward. But with all that out of the way, that's all I really have for you guys today. So I hope you have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.